Hey, yo, lesson here, babe. You come at the king, you best not miss. So, I'm out here on the strip. We're about to hit that Ferris wheel up. This is gonna be dope. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, man. 52 bucks, you get on the Ferris wheel, it's an open bar. It's gonna be litty. that goes around. It's pretty dope. Check it out. <laughs> what is up everybody? How you guys doing? It is the last day here in beautiful Las Vegas. And so far I've had just a tremendous time, a great time with, you know, friends and going out and partying, drinking, eating, exploring. Um, this is definitely a great city. I wanted to initially vlog like every day of what I was doing, where I was going. But I mean, ever since that we just, we got on the flight, it was just nonstop. Like it was, you know, get on the flight, come back, go to Fremont Street, walk around, get drinks, check this out, look over here, look over there. And I just couldn't vlog every day specifically. Plus, I didn't have like a story to tell every day. I was just kind of winging it. So, you know, sorry guys. I, I wanted to do like a, you know, a detailed vlog of everything we did and we couldn't. Also, it's very hard to vlog in Vegas because when you're walking around casinos, they don't let you record, right? So, um, if you have your cell phone and you might be Snapchatting or Instagramming, they're not going to really tell you anything, you know? But here I have a Canon ADD with a Rode mic and a Gorilla Pod, and I'm walking around, you know, you can see, I'm walking around the casino like this. You know, and there's people playing poker behind me, blackjack, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, so uh, hotel security, they're, they're not with it. So they're always telling you to cut it off and stuff. So it's, uh, you know, that's another reason why I really couldn't vlog that good. So this is our last night. Tonight I plan to get some good footage. We should be going on a helicopter ride and I wanna see New York, New York, which is across the street from where I'm staying at, at the MGM. Yesterday I did go to the Mandalay Bay and I checked it out and um, I mean, it was dead. There was nobody in there. All the other casinos are just popping and all the hotels are just popping and the Mandalay Bay is just dead, you know? So, feel bad you know you could look across the street and see the stage where the massacre happened and um i believe the fbi had it all shut down had had the whole street shut down actually like you can't you can't like walk over there you know they have it shut down for investigation still but they have like candles lit at nighttime and stuff and you know it's kind of sad and i feel bad for like the mandalay you know besides the victims of the horrible tragedy and everything like that but just the workers at the mandalay bay are just you know like i was walking around in there and you just had bartenders looking at ice melt um you know the what the wait staff was not busy there was just nobody walking around the casino it was just like a ghost town so man that sucks you know shout out to the uh employees of mandalay bay i hope I hope something gives and you guys, you know, start making money again. But all right, come with me. We're going to go to New York, New York, get some pizza. I heard it's like $15 slices, which seems to be the common thing in Vegas. Everything's super expensive. $6 bottles of water, $15 slice of pizza. This is how it is. But let's go. Let, let's go check it out. I heard there's a roller coaster over there, too. Um, if they let me record, I might get on it. I don't know. Let's check it out. So, floor one. All right, here on floor one. You guys come out here. Make sure that you rock ultra boost, man. Don't come out here with no 11s. Don't come out here with no Timberlands. Don't come out here with nothing uncomfortable. Bring the most comfortable shoes that you own. 
because Vegas is about walking. <laughs> if you're trying to get to, I mean, I spent a lot of money on Ubers, but if you're trying to see everything, it's walking. Look how long this hallway is. It's like to the end of forever. So, I mean, I have like a blister on my pinky and that has no fault for the shoes, you know what I mean? My shoes, Adidas Ultra Boost, I don't gotta tell you guys about it, you guys already know. But definitely, if you're, if you're coming out here for anything, a convention, to party, make sure you bring a comfortable pair of shoes. Also bring a pair of dress shoes because the clubs will not let you in with sneakers. You know what I mean? Strip clubs will, but regular clubs won't. So, just a Vegas tip there for you guys. All right, so that's where we're going. I see there's an overpass. We're gonna make a left, and the New York, New York should be right there. Cool. It's a beautiful day out here, let me tell you. Wow, it's like 70 degrees. It's like 70 degrees and there's no humidity. I know I've been talking about the weather here because it just trips me out. You know, to be sunny and hot, no humidity, not sweating, it's pretty dope. I mean, I imagine California is like this. I've never been to California, but I want to go, man. That's got to be the next trip. Got to go to Cali, man. Spend some time over there. Hit up Supreme and Fairfax. You know what I'm saying? Round two. Go check out some of that stuff. But, all right, man, I'm hungry. Now, out here, you just, you got to just, since everything's so expensive, take advantage of the buffets. But then you only get two meals a day, which is not bad. But, you know, you kind of have to, like, OD at breakfast, then OD at night, and then wait all the way around until probably middle of the day to get brunch again or something. <laughs> pizza connoisseur. I uh, like to eat pizza from all over wherever I go. So let's see how the uh, the New York pizzeria inside the New York, New York, Las Vegas is. For right now, just the crust is nice and it's hard. So that's a good thing. I like that crunch. That's salty. Not bad. Not bad. Two slices in the drink, 20 bucks. So. The buffet costs about $24. A lot more food for the money. But how many times are you gonna eat prime rib in four days? You know what I mean? So I housed those two slices and they were fire, man. Definitely recommend this place. If you're either at the MGM or you're staying at the New York, New York, or you just want really good pizza on the strip, this pizzeria right here is fire. So I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to try to get in closer inside the hotel to see if I can find that Brooklyn Bridge and walk around where like all the cool stuff is at. Niggas rope, don't put your neck in it 